my friends just got off a fiery call and want to come to you guys all you creators all you entrepreneurs everyone trying to get something moving in their life i want to come to all you guys with some powerful powerful key probably the number one thing that suffers or is a struggle for conscious creators and anyone trying to start something in their life is the lack of a motivation or like inspiration and be a sense of urgency. You see, like I, <laughs> I love the, the quote, you know, the task will expand to the time allotted to it. I think back to like writing essays in school. I'd always put them off to the very last minute. But something that would take someone else like two hours a day for two weeks, like 30 hours. Like I would nail out in four hours, like so focused because there's, there's a deadline. Like I got to give it my all, my A game and see how effective I can be moment to moment. And it just builds, right? But how can we create that when it's just like our own dream that we're working towards, you know? There's not really any deadlines. Like for instance, for me in, in creating videos and whatnot, if I have like two hours to create something, you know, I'll think about it, I'll have resistance, like I'll overthink it, and then like I'll do it a couple times, I'll do some research, like I'll spend too much time on the details. My friends, ask yourself this one question, every creator, entrepreneur out there. When it comes time to sitting down and doing what you were called to do, what you have assigned yourself to do, whatever your duty is, your next step forward, right? First off, before doing that, Remember your purpose, remember your why. My friends, moving without purpose is the fastest way to just be busy, move like aimlessly, that doesn't bear fruits. If we truly wanna manifest our dreams and work towards our potential and bring forth what is within us and create an aligned life inside and out, right? We need to move with purpose and that means listening to a binaural beat or a mantra or some kind of getting in your zone and feeling into the image of success. Why does your nature delight in the direction you are going? This is a huge element of the call I just got off of. Really think about a life. Let's say you're a Gemini. You love consuming information. You love new activities, new cultures, new people, new events, and you really grow and integrate from all these things and then, and then give forth from it. You know, maybe a digital nomad lifestyle might be very aligned to your nature. So like really feel into what that looks like. Imagine that image of success as if it was here and now. Like the, the mantra Shreem Brzee. It's a mantra for wealth and abundance, right? Feel into that image, right? And realize what you want. Know what you want and cultivate a burning desire for it. Step two. What could I really accomplish if I went all in? This is about creating a sense of urgency in, my, in your life, my friends. This has been coming to me over and over and over because the work I do is intrinsically motivated and there's no one else telling me like when, what, how to do anything, right? It's hard actually being effective, but try this out. Your most effective self, if like literally all everything was on the line, your, your whole dream, your whole livelihood was on the line, like each time you showed up to perform, how much could you give? Like what is your actual creative potential? You know, whether it's with, with work or getting this mundane chores out of the way, like, yeah, we like knock off a few things. It's almost like we're half-assing everything because there's not a gun pointed at us. Like, and you don't need a gun. You don't need fear to invigorate motivation into mad effectiveness, into mad concentration. You need love and vision, right? So it's like, what is your creative potential right now? You know, instead of those two hour blocks where I make like one video overdone and like overthinking everything and really just blocking myself and getting my own way. If I had shed the barriers, if I was truly fearless and I was living fearlessly towards that vision and would be fearless in my pursuit of it, right? How much could I really get done in two hours? Like what is my creative max potential? And I'm not saying you gotta live at that polarity of like mad production, but it's very powerful for the psyche to tap into what's the extreme, right? What does your creative potential look like? How much could you really get done towards your vision, towards your dream in the next two hours? You know, if you're trying to like start a, a wellness center, 
you know, in three hours, if it was re if you really went all in, how much could you accomplish? You know, you could get, you could apply for three different grants. You know, you could get your application sent to these different places. You could get in touch with three different wellness leaders in the community. Like how much could you really, my friends in one container, in one container, if you do the alchemy of the energy, right? You set the intention and the purpose and you come in with awareness of what your actual potential is, what he who is within you or she who is within you is capable of, right? Act with that, act with intensity, right? I have these reminders up in all over my office, just like little things to, I, I like to kind of like meditate on before moving into anything. It's like, what could I really accomplish if I went all in? for the next hour, for the next three hours. If I went all in, how much could I really get done? What would that do for my life? Like feel that my friends, right? What is your creative capacity? What is your max potential? You know, maybe you don't even know. Go figure that shit out for a minute, you know? I have some other ones that are, I find really powerful too. Do vigorously and at once Whatever must be done. James Allen, do vigorously and at once whatever must be done. When I get in my office, it's time to, to, to move. It's time to get into motion. It's time to build momentum. And if I'm finding myself in a place of resistance, it's because I'm letting a pleasure mind or some kind of like unfocused mind block the way of just execution and delighting in execution. It's just like do at once whatever must be done. Like get out of how you feel about it and what you want to do and all these things. And like, what is the purpose of the present moment? Why do you want to show up to that moment? What is your capacity to give in that moment? If you really dwell on those three things, my friends, you're going to unlock genius inside of you. You unlock power inside of you. All conscious creators out there. Yeah. Now some other reminders, you know, over on this whiteboard, it's like, okay, your attention is your cosmic currency. When you pay attention to anything that is distracting you from the purpose of the present moment, you're creating more conflict, more resistance, less results in the action, you know? And yeah, what is your creative potential today? What is your actual potential to get that to-do list, to knock shit out of the park, you know? Dream, my friends. And most of all, remember and know why you want it. Kindle your burning desire, my friends. You're not lazy. Your vision, your dream doesn't really inspire you. Think about your nature. Think outside the box. Don't be scared to dream. Be fearless and prove to yourself how powerful you are, right? Even in short containers, in 30 minutes, you know? You can get done more in 30 minutes of intentional, diligent, like vigorous action than most people get done in like 30 days. My friends, the power of two hours, three hours, four hours. In four hours, if you really engage with your heart, mind, and soul into something, you will move with the force of like the force of nature behind you. In those four hours, you can accomplish more than you would do in 40 days, period. Go try it out. <laughs> Anyways, my friends, what is your creative capacity? Learn how to create a sense of urgency inside of yourself. Program your subconscious mind towards your dream, towards your vision, towards what you deeply are moved by, and don't let go of it. Hold to that deep realization and learn to create containers and prove new extremes to yourself. Shake shit up. Shaking shit up doesn't look like just adding or trying to change or get a little bit better. It's like, go get the drastic other extreme. You know, if you didn't have any discipline, enroll yourself into some kind of like martial arts temple with a strict ass master and you will go from zero discipline to a lot of discipline. You know, it's like that idea. Find the extremes and this will transform the way that you move into the world and it'll transform the way you manifest and bring forth what is within you into an alignment of life. My friends, if you want to work with me, I do really powerful coaching and, you know, consultations. If you just want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, apply. Link in the description. You can get a freebie. And, uh, yeah, 
I just love working with conscious creators, anyone trying to level up into their life and really step forth in service. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this type of content, hit that like button. I do want to bring more stuff out here for the conscious entrepreneur, for the conscious creator, because I know we all have passions. I know we all have a calling towards something unique that is so right for us, right? I know we all have that sense, whether it's right in front of us or whether it's kind of a far off glimpse. But if you want help, guidance, you know, motivation and accountability and bringing that forth, definitely don't hesitate to hit me up. I'm on Instagram, email, link in the description to apply for a freebie. And really appreciate when you drop comments, my friends. Let me know you enjoyed this type of video and I will bring more to you. I love you guys so much. Let's keep growing. Let's keep motivating. Let's keep inspiring one another. Let's keep getting stronger and bringing more into the world, becoming more united, becoming more you. Hell yeah, my friends. Know thyself. Peace out.